Hello everybody and welcome to our children's talk this morning. Now, I think it's fairly true to say, but for me, it's been a really difficult week and I guess that there's a possibility that it has been for many of you as well. And the thought that has sustained me this week is the fact that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. And um, when life has been a little bit bumpy this week, it's really helped me uh, to hold on to that thought. Covid hasn't changed Jesus. Lockdown hasn't changed Jesus. Home learning hasn't changed Jesus. Technical difficulties hasn't changed Jesus. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. So I really hope that you'll all be able to hold on to that wonderful truth um, through these coming weeks. That's not what our talk's about this morning, though. Um, you will remember that last week we were introduced to John the Baptist and we heard about his birth. And this week he's grown up and we are going to read about him in our passage this week, which is Luke 3, verses 1 to 16. And... Um, as I was reading that passage this morning, one particular verse um, really stood out for me, and it was this verse. It's verse three. I'm going to read it here from Mia's Youth Bible, and this is what it says. He, John the Baptist, went all over the area, around the Jordan River, preaching a baptism of changed hearts and lives for the forgiveness of sins. And that, that passage just really stood out to me this morning. I'm sure that Nathan is going to go into the whole passage um, a lot deeper later. But the, the message from that passage for me this morning was, was really a very simple one. Because our question is, what do we need to do to be forgiven? And I think the answer is, come to Jesus. We know that when we've been hurt, there's lots of things that we think about doing. Sometimes it's telling other people about what's happened. Um, sometimes it's complaining a lot about it. And we can hold on to an awful lot of hurt and pain and sometimes bitterness um, inside our hearts. But Jesus, who is compassionate and loving, and full of grace and mercy, the one who is always there and the one who loves you says, come to me, come to me, tell me all about it and I will show you the way forward. And I think back to times in my life when um, I've been struggling with unforgiveness and it's not an easy thing and it's not a quick fix. But I think the times when I've taken it to Jesus, when I've gone to him and I've asked him about it and I've told him about it, that's when the good stuff happens. That's when he works in my heart um, to change it. And that's when the amazing transformation takes place. So I'm sure that some of you um, have had disputes at school that have upset you. You might have had disputes with your brothers and sisters that have been really difficult. And sometimes we can get those feelings in our heart, which um, are really difficult to deal with. And I would just urge you to take them to Jesus. So what do you do need to do to be forgiven? You need to come to Jesus and you need to share with him what's on your heart. Now, I think that there is a definite possibility that in this lockdown, all of us are going to be having to practice forgiveness because when we're living on top of each other and everybody's got a lot of different pressures and things going on, um, things can get quite tough in the home. So let's remember that Jesus is the answer and let's take all these things to him and find his forgiveness. So I hope you have a good week and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.